I have my oven already preheated for 350 degrees. And while that is warming up, I'm going to add two cups of old fashioned oats. Everything I buy is organic because I do not want pesticides. I am using a half a cup. So I'm going to use four half of a cup, which equals two cups. So I'm gonna work with all my dry ingredients first and then I will add the wet ingredients. Next, I'm going to use baking powder and mine is aluminum free and I'm going to use one tablespoon. I'm using a teaspoon and three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. So there we go. And then I'm going to use baking soda. And for this, I'm going to use one teaspoon and I'm not using salt. So that's why I add a little bit more baking powder than most people are used to. So one teaspoon of baking soda, you wanna level it off. And the last dry ingredient is cinnamon. And we are using one tablespoon of cinnamon. Plug this in and grind this into a flour. I've got my gluten-free flour. Now oats are naturally gluten-free. The only times they're not is if they're cross-contaminated with other flours. So I've got the flour here. And I'm just gonna put this into another bowl so that I could put it aside and add it to the wet ingredients. I have three very ripe bananas. I wanted medium. These are probably kind of large, but ideally medium and remove any strings. Probably doesn't matter since I'm blending it all together, but I always do. And then you wanna break this up into little small pieces. The smaller, the better, because it will be easier for your food processor to break these up, because you want it to be very, very creamy. And if there's dark spots, that just means that those sections are very ripe and they may not taste good if you just eat them plain, but if you blend them up, it'll be fine, because those are actually very, very sweet. So keep those in. And then I've got one more banana to put in here. I'm gonna use two tablespoons of lemon juice and I got this from my neighbor's yard. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't steal it. We got permission. <laughs> oh, how pretty. I'm gonna use an apple instead of sweetener. The bananas add sweetness, so does the cinnamon and the vanilla. And this combination will make it nice and sweet. Now normally, I do skin on apples. It has a lot of nutrition, but in this, I definitely wanna peel it. I don't want anything too thick. I just want the sweetness from the apple. I don't like using juice because then you're removing the healthy fiber with all the benefits that fiber has. You wanna keep as much fiber in your food as possible. So I am just peeling it and heck, maybe I'll eat the peel separately. Peel is pretty tasty. If you add some cinnamon on it, rub the cinnamon into it, it's pretty good. So, going to so I'm going to seed it, I'm going to core it, I'll show you how I do it. Add two teaspoons of vanilla extract and I like this one because it is in glycerin so it's pretty sweet so that that's that's why this adds a little bit of sweetness so I like a lot of vanilla flavor, so I'm gonna put two teaspoons. But it's definitely not overpowering. Still has 
a little subtle vanilla flavor. I have one half cup of frozen pineapple. I'm just going to make these into little smaller pieces. I'm gonna blend this up. I'm gonna add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. You can mix this by hand, but I'd rather just make sure it's completely incorporated because this is gonna do a better job than I will if I mix it by hand. So you can make these blueberry pancakes any size that you want. The half a cup will give you a pretty big pancake and my husband doesn't want mini pancakes, so I'm gonna do one third of a cup. I'm just gonna scoop. Just like this. You can see this makes actually a decent sized pancake. So I'm gonna make these much more, I'll, I'll make these look a little better. <laughs> I'll shape them after I put them all on this parchment lined paper baking sheet. And it's nice because you don't have to use any oil. It doesn't stick. And then I, I was putting the blueberries inside the pancakes, but then it turned this kind of unattractive gray color. So today I'm just going to put the blueberries inside. So it should still look very pretty. So I'm gonna just do six of these. And then I'll press the blueberries into each one and then I'm also going to add some nuts. Nuts are optional. And if you want to make this really low fat, then just skip the nuts. It's good with the nuts and good without. So you can see here, I'm just making them flatter. And you want to make it even so that it'll cook evenly. Actually, this is pretty big. This one third of a cup. So it's probably a good size. If you want mini ones, I would say you can use a quarter cup. And I'm just pressing very gently in a circular motion, as you can see. Whoops. Kind of. All right, I'm going to grab the blueberries. And I've got the oven preheating. Okay, so this is nice because then you can put the blueberries in a pretty pattern. <laughs> and that way it's evenly distributed. I'm just going to smash them in there a little bit. Maybe you can even make a little smiley face. <laughs> this one's saying, yeah, I think I'm going to make a smiley face on this one. that doesn't look like a smiley face but anyways you can play with it I think I'll put these ones around the outside yes I am playing with my food why not just pressing them a little bit more and oh yay it's all ready so I'm gonna put these ones in a little row I just want to make little shapes. I think that's my favorite, the way it looks the best. But I'm going to try two different types of nuts. I'm going to try these pecan pieces. Now I use oil free, salt free, and then I'm just going to sprinkle these on top. Maybe I should be a little bit more strategic. <laughs> Not too many, just a little bit of crunch. I think I do, I'll do half with pecans and I'm gonna do half with walnuts. I just thought, it's actually prettier without the, the nuts, huh? So, 
I just eat these without the nuts. But it does add an extra little texture to it. It is more crunchy. So I can add a little bit more pecans on these ones. These are smaller pieces. I don't want them to fall off. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna gently press them inside the batter. And it is very soft. These have been in the oven for 30 minutes at 350 degrees. And I should have put the rack up higher so it'll cook better. But anyway, so I am attempting to flip these. <laughs> and I tried to flip this one too early. And then I'm just gonna flip each one just to make sure the outside, we don't want anything gooey. See that's almost done. All right, I'm gonna flip these, all of them, and then they should be done shortly. So my husband likes these blueberry pancakes with a little bit of maple syrup on top. I like them just as cookies, so I just take them out of the, the oven when it's cool and I just, I just munch on them. So let me know if you have any questions. I hope you make them and I hope to see you soon.